Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry, and as we get into tonight's free video, I wanted to recap a Tesla trade that we took in the Simpler Central Room this afternoon, and then give you some insight into how I think Tesla might trade tomorrow. So, from picking it up from what allowed us to get into it, the day begins with the uh, broad market taking a very solid flush, right? Meta was down hard on earnings, and that was felt throughout the tech sector, uh, with Tesla gapping down into this zone, you can see the big gap from the previous day, but notice that we're gapping right into some of my favorite zones. One of these is your snow line. You can see that at 158.83, that's right about where you opened. And then it's this flush down into the hedge wall. So these are levels that I get from Spot Gamma. If you guys have been following <coughs> my work, you know that I've been uh, working with these guys a pretty fair deal. I just think that it's such an important piece of the options to understand. And you see that right there at 160. So that's a critical strike. You see a flow alert that goes off right there at the open. So the flush down into those prices triggers enough action to bring Tesla up out of it. And when you have the backing of the options flow to go with you, it just helps these kinds of end of day moves. So from early this morning, we were looking at some 160 puts. The sale of those helps fund the purchase of the uh, 170 calls. We got those at about 65 cents. They closed above $2. And now you try to see for continuation, right? So the markets are closed, but in the after hours, Tesla is up $2. So if you can take those and uh, flip them early morning, that's going to be part of what I am looking for. But uh, the continuation from that trade brings up the big questions for tomorrow. And that is, is there actually a 180 call in play here too? <clears throat> because you could take those 170s and roll them. You could look at this for a fresh trade. And it's all going to depend on the tone of the market. But if you have more of the... Uh, short squeezing kind of way of thinking, which I think we could see. Uh, this could be a good way to close out your Friday. Just remember 175, right? So right now we're sitting at about 172 half. The next key strike will be 175. If Tesla stops there, you might be able to find a short term bearish opportunity. But if not, just be aware that bears are a little more on their heels and 180 would be the next critical level above. So that is part of what I have been trading, part of what's been going on in the options room. I hope you find it a helpful addition to your trading with the reminder that Google and Microsoft could very well be doing something similar. Now they will be a little bit different. Let's just pretend like this is the Microsoft chart because its gap will be occurring from Thursday to Friday. So we'll have to see what Friday does, see what Monday brings. But if these patterns repeat, It'll allow for nice continuations early next week, and that's why I want to make sure that you're aware of those post-earnings patterns. So that's all for tonight. You guys have a great rest of your evening, and I hope to see you in the chat rooms tomorrow. Hey traders, this is Henry with SimplerTrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful, and if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.